Hi, this is um, Indipreet Singh. Um, Hi, Indipreet. So I just had a question about, um, I mean, of course, we know the um, uh, economy impacts on the coronavirus and we know the unemployment is going to be going high in like next three to six months. And, and you know, it's not going to all come back straight away. So there will be impact on the existing existing um, landlords, right? I mean, obviously some are probably going to go to default, but then, you know, we have the stimulus and this um, uh, federal stimulus package that recently got approved, which is going to help them um, you know, to defer the mortgage payments, so that will help the, um, you know, your uh, property owners to at least, uh, um, you know, actually manage the payments for a while. But eventually, we are going to see some, um, you know, obviously defaults by either just obviously like not being able to afford the housing or due to unemployment. So. How do we how do we see that impacting like the next six to twelve months in the real estate pricing? Well, that's a great great question. Okay, so let me pull up a slide. Let me see where I have the slide, and that might help us. Uh, okay, so before I go there, let's look at this. What this. Uh, uh, there is, this is a quote from David Ronsberg, Rosenberg. I hope all of you knows about this. Oh, no, all of you know this knows about him. What he says is that what 9/11 has in common with what is happening today is that the shock has also generated fear, angst, and anxiety among the general public. Okay, people avoided crowds, then as they believe another terrorist attack was coming, and are acting the same today to avoid getting sick. And in his opinion, and that's what we are seeing actually in the market, the same parts of the economy are under pressure. Airlines is under pressure. Leisure industry or entertainment industry is under pressure. Hospitality industry is under pressure. And restaurants industry is under pressure. Basically, wherever the consumer discretionary services or consumer discounting, parts of the economy are, are in distress right now. Right? And it is different uh, with what happened from 9-11 crash, okay? And if you look at dot-com and 9-11, what happened at that time point in time was, and we, remember, we are seeing the similar set of behaviors right now. We're seeing the similar set of what you call parts of the economy which are under distress right now. And what happened during that time, even though the stock market and everywhere, like, things were going down back 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 and forth there was almost a bloodbath into the in the, in the in the in the real estate market the home prices were actually appreciating the home prices actually appreciated by almost about 24 to 25% during that dot com boom and that 911 attack so to answer your question again future is future it's as dark as it can be i don't know about it nobody knows about it what all we can do is we can look at what how have we dealt or how the economy have come out of certain similar scenarios in the past. And to answer your question, this is what we see, what's going to happen. And I will not be very much surprised if real estate is the one market which will help bring economy back on its track. 